Welcome to this month's GibbsCam Tech Tip. In this month's Tech Tip, we will demonstrate how to use and save processes. Save processes reduce the amount of time needed to program a part and allows you to save custom tools and tool holders along with information such as stickout length and comments. All speeds, feeds, and depths of cut will also be saved in the process. This makes for a more consistent look to your programs. In this demonstration, we will create and save processes and we will use them to program a simple turned part. I've arranged my process by operation type. There are no limits as to how you arrange your list. You may choose to arrange them by tool number or any other criteria that works for your programming. Let's, let's stop this simulation and we will take a look at my process list that I created on my desktop. You can see I've got lathe, turning, OD, 80 degree, rough, there is no face process in here. I've purposely deleted it so that we can build it right now. So let's open up the project we were just simulating. You can see I've got 80 degree tool here built. Um, here's my rough face. Once you've done the process, you can then save it as a process into a list. So I just activated it. I'm going to right click. I'll say save process list. We navigate to that folder I was just looking at, lathe, turning, OD, 80 degree, rough. You see I got a turn, we'll now put a rough face process in there. Face, enter, and we just saved it. Now let's look at using all of these processes to turn this part. First thing you need to do is set the folder. So we're gonna, that tells Gibbscam where to go looking for our processes. In this case, it's on the desktop processes. And all I got to do is hit select folder. Now, when I right click and say load process, lathe, turning, OD, 80 degree turn, rough, face. You see it built the tool, it built the process. All I need to do is set my markers and choose the correct direction of travel and we should have the uh, part rough faced. Say do it. There we go. I used material only so I don't need to be very careful about my marker placement. We'll go right click, load, lathe, turning, OD, 80 degree rough, and turn. Now I need to set my markers appropriately again. We'll move our end feature down here, move the end point off of the part, and we'll say do it did not dive down into this thread relief area because when I saved that process I purposely had no X minus checked so we'll go lathe turning OD 35 degree we're gonna rough that thread relief out now I also saved a process for that you see I, it just built the 35 degree tool we'll set our markers appropriately using material only again and say do it and it roughs out the thread relief for us now we'll right click, load list, lathe, turning, OD, 35 degree, finish, face. Choose the end face, make sure to move our markers where they need to be, choose the direction of travel, correct side of the line, say do it. And we just finish face the part. We'll right click, load process, lathe, turning, OD, 35 degree, finish, turn. Once again, we need to set our markers. That's all we need to do. Make sure to choose the correct direction of travel, correct side of the line, say do it, and it finishes, finish turns the part. You can see here I had no drag selected when I saved that process. We've got one thing left to do here, and that's just to thread this part on the end. So threading, OD thread imperial one inch eight and when I say do it it builds the it builds the tool it threads the part based on the criteria I saved when I saved the process so if we think that's a little too long all we got to do is open the process up now instead of going minus one inch 200 let's go minus one inch 150 and say redo now when we look we went one inch 150 instead of one inch 200. Now, if we want to overwrite our existing process, we've got the tool, we've got the process called up. We go right click 
save process, drive into our uh, process tree that we created. There's that one inch eight thread. If I just single click on it and say save, it asks me if I want to replace it. Yes, I do. Now that process has been saved with the new depth of cut. Processes reduce the amount of time needed for programming in GibbsCam. I highly recommend you contact your reseller if you have questions about it. Thank you for watching this month's GibbsCam Tech Tip and have a nice day.